Hey, what's up guys? Mint City here yet again with another video, and today we are going to be taking a look at Catsby. So Catsby is a platformer. Um, as you can tell just from the menu screen, this has some retro looking graphics. I actually collect for the Super Nintendo and the original PlayStation, but the Super Nintendo is my favorite system of all time. I love retro games. I'm a sucker for pixel art, whether it be 8-bit or above. Um, but I love it. I love the aesthetics of this game, and that's why I downloaded it. It's free to download on the App Store if you guys want to go uh, snag it uh, after this video and see and just see how it is yourself if it interests you after you watch. So anyways, let's get into it. Let's press play. I've played a little bit so far just to get a feel of the game and see what the basic uh, gameplay loop is. And so far, I was initially expecting like a kind of a classic Mario feel or a Kirby feel because this gives me crazy Kirby vibes from like my old Game Boy like Kirby uh, Kirby games on uh, the original Game Boy uh, it just it gives me that vibe um, just from its looks but so far what I found out is that so the game starts you off and there's this like certain power-up under this platform and it says hey you need to go get another power-up in order to access this power-up and that's what uh, that tip tells me something too it says that I need to go get a power up in order to be able to go underwater. And so what's interesting is this isn't like a strictly from left to right kind of platformer. It, it's more of like a Metroidvania in, in, in a way because you have to explore the map, you have to find power ups, and then you use those power ups to access new pl places of the map and get new power ups. And all of those mechanics continue to build up on top of one another. And uh, I just love the looks of the game. You can tell a lot of love went into it to make it look retro to some degree. And there's uh, quite a, a variety of enemies that I've encountered so far as well. Um, but it's a lot of fun. I've been having a lot of fun with it so far for the, the few. So I am full. Um, let's see. So there is a bag. So there's a sticky bomb to use, a full screen unique act skill. So you have a bunch of items, a bunch of abilities. Really cool, a lot deeper than you might initially think it is. But that's the basics, the basics of the gameplay loop. You collect items, you explore the map, and you're trying to complete the map. Obviously, if you see that clam down there, that looks pretty cool. I think we're about to get a power-up that I needed, which is cool. Um, and this will probably make me be able to go underwater, so let's see. Oh yeah, hold it above your head like Zelda. I mean, not Zelda, Link. Whoa, triggered. I'm, I haven't played... Uh, uh, Legend of Zelda game in my life except for the Super Nintendo A Link to the Past. So I still make that mistake. I'm sorry if I triggered anyone. <laughs> so there we go. It's teaching us how to use the new thing. So let's go see if we can go underwater. That's really cool and really good timing because now and the controls, if you guys are worried about the controls they're pretty good. So now I can go underwater. Boom. Really good timing. It seems you have a new ability. It's my first time seeing a cat swimming. Difficult road ahead, but you will also get growth. Come on. Thank you, Miss Bird. <laughs> Alright. Let's go get that uh, axe. But that was really good timing. Now you guys saw exactly how the gameplay loop feels, at least. Is that you're going to be experiencing exactly what you've seen in the last few minutes. Is I went, explored, got a power, and now I can access new, new places from that power-up. So let's go see what we find with that. We're busting pots, just like Link. Um, should we go down? Nah, I don't want to go down. Let's go over here. Let's backtrack and see if there's anything. If there's not anything, then we can conclude the video. Oh, whoops. Tried to hop that guy. Best status. Price. Alright, immediately take effect. Nah, let's not buy it. With my coinage. My coinage. Eh, there we go. Got him. Do, do, do. Let's see. Tip. I want the tip. It won't give me the tip. Why won't it give me the tip? But maybe I, I don't know what it's trying to tell me. But as as you guys can see, I think I'm just going to end it right here because you're going to have to be finding figuring st stuff out. I was trying to go underwater. Oh, maybe that's where I'm supposed to go. Let's let's check that out. Ah, there we go. We made it. Nope, none, nothing under there. Ugh. Get up. There we go. The underwater mechanics feel good. Um, the controls feel good. Oh, gosh. Can I go over there? Nope. 
So this is where I think the one of the, the power-ups are right, right here. Let's check out this tip. I don't know why it doesn't give me the tips anymore. That's very strange. Tap and talk. <laughs> no, I'm good. But all right, now you've seen, uh, hopefully this, I, I know that I'm like over here trying to figure things out and it's not very smooth, but that's what Metro Metroidvanias are. You're supposed to explore, you're supposed to backtrack, you're supposed to try to figure out where you're supposed to go next and where you're supposed to use your powers. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Um, if it looks interesting to you, go download it, no hesitation. It's called Catsby. Um, if you like retro style gra graphics, if you like platformers, if you like Metroidvanias, this might be in your alley. It's free. You have nothing to lose. Go give that a download. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and pop a sub if you're new. This is a channel all about mobile gaming content. I love introducing you guys to new games that you might not know about that you can just download on your phone or your tablet or whatever mobile device you have. Um, if it looks interesting to you in the videos that I make. But hopefully I've been able to help you guys out um, with consuming your time with mobile gaming, at least to some degree. Um, yet again, thank you so much for all the support you guys have given me. I can't believe we're at 85 subscribers. Blows my mind. Uh, never thought it would get to this, this far. I know that's such an insignificant number on YouTube, but it's not insignificant to me. Um, make sure you guys check out the plugs before and after the video. If you guys want to experience more of my content, I'm Mint City. Thank you so much for watching and take it easy.